As a Formula 1 car travels at speed, the air rushing around it forces it down. This gives the car more traction and allows it to make faster turns without sliding out. The front and rear wings create much of this downforce. These are like aircraft wings, but upside down. They deflect the air upwards, which pushes the car down, and the aerofoils also create low pressure zones on the underside of the wings, which sucks the car down. But today, it's actually something else that creates most of the downforce in Formula 1. Since the 2022 season, underfloor tunnels are permitted and increase what is known as the ground effect. Air passing through these tunnels speeds up at the throat, as there is less cross-sectional area. This results in lower pressure because of the Venturi effect and sucks the car down towards the track. Through this clever use of air, F1 cars can generate downforce that exceeds their weight. This means they'd be able to drive upside down. Follow us and visit techsite.co for more technical storytelling.